Respect, not your genuine love. Respect, Paige. I truly appreciate your time to the genuine ones only. Hey, what's going on? How you doing? Hey, hi. What's going on? Have a safe day. Have a safe weekend. Listen, hate in disguise. Listen, we don't do all that drama over here. Return back to send <laughs> Say it for your mama. It's just that simple. No, what the hell is wrong with people? No, for real, for real. What the hell is wrong with people? It's the thought process of me. What's wrong with people? Yo, you ever had to reevaluate your thought process, but then reevaluate your own thought process? Your thought process! You working today? Hold on one second. It's registering. <laughs> oh, wow. Thought process. One second. I don't mean to be rude. <laughs> thought process. <laughs> You're embarrassing me. <laughs> You ever had one of those moments when you couldn't think and you was embarrassing your own self? <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> the process, you register it. All right, it's working. All right, it's working. You ever had to reevaluate your thought process with them, reevaluate your thought process and say to yourself, is, you know what? God has been good to me. <laughs> no, for real, for real. <laughs> you know, people feel to realize at the end of the day. You know, when you elevate and becoming your best self vision of yourself at the end of the day because God is allowing you to become your best self vision of yourself. And people can't get in tune to how you becoming your best self vision of yourself, regardless to what trauma done transpired in your life from a child point of view, going into your adulthood, you know, dealing with being maybe sexually assaulted and, you know, dealing with trauma on top of trauma, dealing with domestic violence, or you have, you put a name to your book, discrimination, all types of stuff, you know, how that go, whatever. You put a name to your book, though. <laughs> you know, and you just trying to become your best self-vision, you know what I'm saying? And and you don't got time for that toxic energy, because when you when you ask God to remove certain energy from around you or whatever, God closed that door for a reason. That toxic door got closed for a reason. <laughs> closed! <laughs> Hello. It's the thought process for me. You know how, like, God is working within you, you know, and, and, and it's showing on the outside that you could genuinely love yourself and be at peace with yourself without wearing a mask, you know, because you got self-awareness in a healthy way, you know, to respect your neighbor and stay in your own lane with no malicious intentions, second month, they throw parts on their freedom. You know, and, 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 and God God is doing some doing some numbers on you, like, some real good numbers on you in a healthy way, like, showing you, like, I'm being patient with you, you know, because God allows you to see that day for a reason. So God's being patient with your process. You can be patient with your process. You can show it for yourself, right? And people don't understand, like, they being a hater towards you or whatever the case may be. Like, God reevaluating the thought process of you and, and saying to you and y'all having a conversation, which y'all having a conversation in your private time at the end of the day. And God is seeing everything that was transpiring. God says to you, yeah, you saw that hater? Yeah. <laughs> you saw what they was wearing? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, and they got the nerve to be a hater. Like, ma'am, sir, you got too much time within your thought process to be a hater. Why are you didn't coordinate your um clothing properly at the end of the day when you woke up this morning? Who told you to put that on? It did not match. Not even a little bit. <laughs> God be reevaluating my thought process sometimes. Tell me sometimes, you know. You know, when a hater appears or whatever the case may be, and they got malicious intentions, God be like, yo, watch out. They after you. Oh, I'm about to show you. <laughs> the hate in disguise. <laughs> watch this. <laughs> you know, you've been around people for a very long time, right? And then you got that one person who you don't talk to for a very, very long time. <laughs> And they don't know why they don't like you, but they just miserable with me and miserable with their own thought process at the end of the day. And they say to you, Wiz, I don't like the fact that you're elevating and becoming your best self-vision of yourself. See, I told you they was going to tell you. I was it. <laughs> Hold on. Let's return back to Cinder because we ain't got time for that today. <laughs> you ever have to reevaluate your thought process and reevaluate re 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 your thought process? When God told you not to go somewhere and your ass went anyway. <laughs> and God said, I'm about to teach you a valuable lesson, right? <laughs> I told you to stay away from them haters. <laughs> they big haters. Watch. I'll show you. <laughs> you get to wherever you need to get to, whatever the case may be. Somebody decides to invite you out somewhere to get together. All right. You normally don't go to get together. But, you know, you decide to come out your comfort zone or whatever the case may be. Why you get there all dressed all nice and fly and whatever the case may be, you mind your business. Why everybody got eyes on you? <laughs> everybody was talking about you before you actually enter the room. Wait, hold on. Wait. <laughs> the child of God is here. <laughs> <laughs> yo, God reevaluated his thought process saying to you is, yo, watch these fools. <laughs> I got your back, though. <laughs> but watch them.
<laughs> Why they looking at you like that? Nobody said hi, nothing. What the hell going on? What the going on after the day? Oh no, girl. <laughs> but um, whatever going on with the going on with they thought parts of the day, I don't want parts of it. They looking at you while you looking at them. So you go to the person who invited you there. You know how, how you doing? They still looking at you while you looking at you. Like what happened? Like are you going to speak? God said leave out the bills, and I told you it wasn't good for you. Yeah, I told you. <laughs> You know, when God tells you not to go somewhere and he show you signs with the showing you signs, like he'll show you something like he'll delay your process. Mm -hmm. He'll delay your process within delaying your process. Like, ah, don't go. And when he shows you that he's delaying your process, not because you slow. Because mm -mm -mm. he, he got to protect you. So being that he's showing you he's going to delay your process within the day you're trying to go somewhere. Just sit your ass down. <laughs> okay. <laughs> when you realize that bad shit start happening, bad shit not just happening for a reason. It's good shit happening right now to save your life. Hello. <laughs> Why the train stop? Go home. <laughs> <laughs> Why the car ain't got no gas? Stay your ass home. <laughs> Rewrite with your thought process. I ain't even got enough money to give a gift. <laughs> Stay your ass home. Don't make it make sense. Hello. Love yourself. Love yourself. Love yourself. Just because someone gave up on you, don't give up on yourself. Just because someone overlooked you, don't give up on yourself. You are genuinely loved by all the right people. You are genuinely respected by all the right people. And you're going to be treated respect 365 days with no malicious intentions. Bring harm to yourself and others around you. Protect your energy because not everybody's serving your time. Never allow the enemy or hate in disguise or a person with malicious intentions. Like so get your thought process learning your freedom because you are worthy and you matter. God allowed you to see another day for a reason. God was patient with you. So... God was patient with you so you could be able to see another day for a reason. So you could tune into yourself to become your best self vision to elevate. You know, when God is tuned into you at the end of the day, God is showing you at the end of the day to have self awareness, to have self respect, self control, self healing, self discipline, self care, self value, self worth, self pace, self patience, and self value. And self healing and healthy boundaries. So you can become your best self vision of yourself to elevate. You know, just because they can't tune into why God is working in your favor at the end of the day, regardless to what trauma you don't experience within your life at the end of the day, it's not meant for them to understand. As long as you have that relationship with God and you don't wear a mask to tune into God at the end of the day and God is working in your favor and it shows on the outside at the end of the day that you're genuinely at peace with yourself and you genuinely love yourself at the end of the day, you know that never allow the enemy or hate in disguise or personal intentions allow you to feel that God is not working in your favor because you are the miracle within yourself. And never judge a book box cover respectfully. Continue to become your best self vision of yourself and continue to elevate and stay in your lane and respect yourself to respect your neighbor. Just because your neighbor don't understand or respect you at the end of the day, because they want you to go back and forth with words with them at the end of the day, you never scoop down to their level at the end of the day because they feel they feel that God is not working in your favor. But then the day they only play in their own face when they question the God because you are the miracle within the miracle of yourself to show for yourself today. Regardless of what trauma you don't experience, God got your back. Good day, bad day, misunderstanding day because God allows you to see the day for a reason and God was patient with your process. You can always start your healing, but you got to mean what you say and say what you mean and stay true to yourself. You can't have one foot in one door, one foot in another door. It would never make sense. But when it starts with healing, you got to mean what you say and say what you mean and stay true to yourself to actually mean what you say. You can't wear a mask to tune into yourself when it starts with healing. You know, it's not easy when it starts with dealing with trauma. It's not easy. And it will never be an overnight process. So never allow the enemy or hate this God's or personal listen attention to allow you to believe it will be an overnight process. Because it won't. But with time comes change, with change comes growth. And with growth comes true understanding. And putting your best self first was the best part of you that you ever did for yourself. To become your best self vision of yourself. So protect your energy because not everybody's ever your time. I should appreciate your time to the genuine ones only. Not your genuine love, respect. Have a safe weekend and protect your energy. Love yourself, love yourself with God's protection from every direction. <laughs>